Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be my sister's master bedroom room transformation. This video has been about a month, I probably just over a month in the making now because it is a huge transformation. Just you wait and see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna run you through everything we did to the room from start to finish. Before we jump into it though, I wanna to talk to you about today's video sponsor, which is Desenio. So I have actually worked with Desenio a couple of times previously, but before then I was a customer. I have been ordering their prints for years and years and years, and I honestly absolutely love the products that they provide. So if you don't know who Desenio are, they are an amazing kind of one-stop shop print store. You can get some amazing prints from them, as well as some really, really nice frames as well. I actually only ordered frames the last couple of times, and I am converted because they are insane. They have a crazy amount of choice on their website as well. So whatever room you are decorating, whether it's like a living room, kitchen, bedroom, they will literally have something for everyone's taste, everyone's style, every single room. And also if you are a little bit stumped for choice, then they actually have a really, really useful tool, which is like a gallery wall tool. So if you wanna see how different prints look put together, you can use that online tool to just kind of drag and drop different pictures in, see how they would look on a wall together. They provide kind of free templates for you to use as well. Um, and you can actually just use their kind of curated gallery walls and just order exactly what they've put together as well. So it's really helpful if you are kind of stumped for different ideas of like art to go in a room, definitely go check out Desenio. They have also given me a discount code to share with you guys as well. So I'll leave that on the screen here and I'll also put it down in the description box with all the terms and conditions as well because it's only valid for a few days. So make sure you're quick and you jump on that discount. So the prints that I ordered for this room are super, super simple, classic. You guys know my kind of style. I went with just some really nice kind of black and white prints. All of the prints that I chose for this room are actually California inspired. Um, so I ordered like a really massive kind of black and white um, print of LA to go above the bed. I also ordered one of Lombard Street in San Francisco and there was a cute little girly kind of surfing print as well. And for all of these, I ordered their black aluminium frames. That is like the frame that I always order because I am obsessed with it. It's a really, really nice kind of slimline, sleek frame. Also the quality of the frames are amazing as well. They have these like little clip things on the back which really like holds the frame together. So they're really, really sturdy once you put them up on the wall, but they're also very lightweight as well. So if you don't wanna be drilling holes in your walls, then you don't need to worry about that because they are super easy and lightweight to hang. Okay, so let me show you the room that we are gonna be working on today. So here is the kind of starting point of my sister's bedroom. So like I've shared previously, my sister's recently moved into this new house with her husband. There is nothing really wrong with this room at all. It just feels a little bit dated. It doesn't feel very homely. It doesn't feel very kind of glam, anything like that. So we definitely want to kind of instill a little bit more of their style into the house. I've said quite a few times before that they're kind of going for more a slightly kind of scandy vibe, but more kind of like a little bit homely. In the bedroom in particular, I wanted to add a little bit more of a kind of a glam vibe as well. I wanted to feel like a little boutique hotel. Either way we got the top down, maybe we crash in, maybe we cruise in. So I have also actually previously filmed a whole mood board video on how I kind of designed this space, came up with inspiration, worked with my sister going through like different Pinterest photos to kind of see what she really liked. So general kind of color vibe for this room, we're going with the really nice kind of inky gray blue very subtle hints of dusky pink. And then we're gonna kind of elevate that a little bit with some kind of like brassy golds, wood tones. Wanna to add a lot of texture into the space as well. So that's the main kind of general inspiration for the room. So let's just jump into this video and I'll show you the transformation. Right, so we are painting. My sister's over there doing the edging. So I picked up the colors of the day. We've gone for Blanc de Blanc for the main walls. And then this one, which is flannel 
grey for the feature wall. So we're just going to paint the whole room blanc de blanc. Um, and then hopefully it will dry and we'll do the feature wall today and just get it all done. Charlie hits clean, stick it and move. He's out on the loose. High street, low seat, wheels on the road. He's out of control. It's all about the fast lane, living wheels keep spinning, the fix keep the top down maybe we crash in maybe we cruise in either way we got the top down either way we got the top Right, so first coat is done with the Blanc de Blanc. It's white. It's not white, oh my God. Let me know if you guys think this is white. So you can just see in the dressing room, we've not painted that. That was the original color, the kind of light pinky color. So the ceiling's obviously white, but it's this kind of, this bit definitely needs a second coat. I mean, it all needs a second coat, but it's a kind of stony, creamy kind of color. So yeah, we're gonna wait for this to dry and then crack on doing a second coat. <laughs> Okay, end of day one. So we've done two coats on the Blanc de Blanc walls, which are looking really good. Um, done one coat of the blue wall, which I think is called flannel gray. Um, so it'll be this color right here. We've cheated a little bit because we obviously went over the edges down here. So we need to do the edgings, but I think that's just gonna need one more coat, which we're gonna do tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. So I think plan for tomorrow is curtain track and second coat on the blue wall. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. Right, so it's been a little bit of time since we started this video. It's been about a month, I think, since we painted it. Put it on pause for a little bit because, mainly because we're waiting for the carpets to be done, which should be done tomorrow. Um, and also I just like, was doing the office as well. So the office is now finished so I can put more of my time back into the master bedroom. Um, so once it gets carpeted tomorrow, we can start moving furniture in, decorating, like putting all the decor bits in, all of the fun stuff. But today I wanted to do a little bit of a DIY for the room. So the furniture my sister's bought is brand new, but I thought there were some little bits in there that we can kind of do a little bit cheaper, upside could be a bit more creative and the wall lights are one of them. I've been wanting to try this for so long. Loads of you guys have probably seen it, um, done loads of times before and it's like a puck light, kind of wall light hack. Um, and yeah, like I said, never done it before, seen it done loads of times and I just think it's ingenious. So I managed to pick up two of these off of Facebook Marketplace. These are brand new wall lights. Um, the woman bought them, she kind of changed her mind on the style, she left it too long to return them, so she was selling them just like boxed, brand new. I'm pretty sure I paid £20 for the both of them. They're originally from Dunelm, this is what they look like, and they're called like the Bradwell, um, and they're this kind of like cream, gloss limestone paint and brushed chrome effect. So in case you don't know what the puck light hack is, um, it's great because if you want to do wall lights and you don't want to pay to have them wired in, you don't want to commit to it, or you can't do it for any reason, then these are a really good alternative. You can literally just attach any kind of shade to the wall like this, and then you pick up 
a puck light. Um, so you can just get these from Amazon and they literally just kind of sit inside there. So the ones I got have a little remote. These ones are chargeable so you can recharge them and they have this little kind of remote with them so you can just turn them on and off. You can also adjust the brightness, you can put them on a timer as well which is really cool but once it's kind of inside the light you don't really notice the difference too much. So yeah I thought these would look really really cool. The whole vibe for the room is obviously this kind of like inky blue with like touches of wood and um brassy gold kind of tones um so these need to change because they don't quite fit the aesthetic that we're going for so this is why i wanted to buy something off a of face it marketplace because i didn't want to it would have been very expensive to buy exactly what we wanted brand new we did look into it but this was like the best kind of cost effective way to do it was buy something off a of face it marketplace obviously if you're doing the park light hack it doesn't really matter about the actual electrics of the lights but these ones are brand new, so I'm gonna make sure that when I upcycle these, I'm not gonna touch any of that. I'm also gonna kind of tape all of this off, make sure it's all like covered so that if they do wanna use these um, actually professionally wired in in the future, they can do that. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna spray them both completely matte black and I have some of that kind of rub and buff gold stuff in the garage so they don't want a bright yellow gold they definitely want a more of a kind of antiqued brassy gold kind of vibe um so it's going to be very much trial and error with these we'll see how we get on but that is what i'm going to do today in preparation for getting the room all finished this weekend Peace of mind is all he wants, but he confused the lights with love. It's all about the fast lane, living wheels keep spinning, the fix keep itching. It's all about the fast lane, living wheels keep spinning, the fix keep itching. Maybe we crash. So I haven't been keeping you guys fully up to date on this. So basically, I sprayed both of them gold with the Rust Odium gold paint. That didn't look great. Um, I just find it's too much of a flat kind of finish. So what I did is went in with a bit of black. So I just dry brushed a bit of black on. And then I actually, this is what I originally wanted to use, lost it and I had to go get another one. I got some of this Rustodium Painters Touch. It's like a kind of rum buff in the gold. And again, I've dry brushed it on. So this one's had a spray of the gold and a bit of black this one's had a spray of the gold bit of black and then i actually dry brushed some of the gold on on top of that and it's giving it much more because this is what i didn't want like a harsh gold like really metallic -y look i want like a kind of brushed bronzy look so i'm going to do another coat of this gold on this just to knock back some of those darker like harsher brush strokes again um, and then obviously I've got to do two coats of the gold on this. But I thought I would just update you um, as to how I'm getting on with them because I hadn't really been filming what I was doing because I was just experimenting. Right, so, sorry I'm out of breath, but we've been carrying the bed into my sister's house. So new carpets have been laid, which look great. They have like some little touch up bits to do on Monday. New bedroom furniture's here. Bed is going in today. We're not really doing this bit, but just to show you guys, this was kind of like a cream tile before. So they just put down a kind of like laminate, which runs all the way into the ensuite, which looks really nice. It's all nice and new. Um, so yeah, it's looking really good. It's really nice and like spongy. So we're just gonna get this bed in, and then once that's in, finishing touches. Maybe we cruising. Either way, we got the top down. Maybe we crashing. Maybe we cruising. Either way, we got the top down. Charlie, it's clean. 
to get a move He's out on the loose High street, low seat Wheels on the road, he's out of control It's all about the fast lane Got the top down. Maybe we crash in. Maybe we cruise in. Either way, we got the top down. 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 Chasing highs, not the answer Paint job, he got chrome but no heat at the home Peace of mind's all he wants But he confused the lights for love It's all about the fast lane Living wheels keep spinning The fix keep itching It's all about the fast lane Living wheels keep spinning The fix keep itching Maybe we crash in Maybe we cruise it Either way we got the top down Maybe we crash in Maybe we cruise it Either way we got the top down 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 Either way we got the Before I show you guys the finished product, I just wanted to jump back and show you guys a little sneak peek of what it was looking like before, just to refresh your memory. Either way we got the top down, maybe we crash in, maybe we cruise in. Either way we got the top down. Charlie hits clean, stick it a move. He's out on the loose, high street. Low seat, wheels on the road, he's out of control It's all about the fast lane, living wheels keep spinning The fix keep itching It's all about the fast lane, living wheels keep spinning The fix keep itching Maybe we crash in, maybe we cruise in Either way we got the top down Maybe we crash in Maybe we cruise in Either way we got the top down Either way we got the top down Right guys, so finished room um, Little caveat, so these do need an iron and also we are waiting on a light shade. So we're getting a really big kind of white tapered one because the one that we got was a little bit too creamy. So I thought I'd give you guys a really quick walkthrough of the room. I'm not gonna tell you where absolutely everything's from. I'm gonna link as much as possible down below. So all of the bedding and the cushions is actually from Dunelm. I think they had a little bit of a sale on when we were there. 
these bedside tables over here are so so nice they're like a wood effect they have a little bit of kind of like rattan cane on the front they have these really nice gold knobs on them which go perfectly with the lights which you guys saw that i kind of upcycled in this video so we've just styled it with like a plant um some jewelry perfume some nice little marble coasters huh go up in the bed Good. do you like it do you like it of course she does um so yeah these bedside tables and the drawers over here are actually from ebay but you got them from where did you get them from bf bf something bfty i think it's bfty but they also do them on ebay as well so we've just styled up with obviously a decenio print this little frame was from b m that was in the sale for a pound um a little wax melt burner from b m and this terrazzo um, plant pot was actually from B&Q. So, so cute with a little kind of hardy plant in there. What else am I missing? Curtains are from Dunelm, but as, if you guys saw my kind of like mood board video, we've stuck pretty close to it. So we've gone the really nice inky blue wall, hints of black. We've got our gold pops there and some nice natural wood with some like textures in there. Um, so yeah overall really really happy obviously like i said a couple of tiny little things to finish off like that but that is the final room so that is the room all finished overall i'm super happy with it my sister is absolutely in love with it as well i just wanted to create a nice kind of cozy kind of boutique hotel vibe for her and yeah i think it looks really good but let me know what you guys think do you like the finished result is there anything you would have done differently i know one thing for sure they're loving actually having a king bed in there because they actually had a double before and they got a brand new simba mattress as well which my sister said was amazing she said it's really really comfy so if anyone's on the lookout for a new mattress she would recommend the simba one i will be linking as much as possible down in the description box in case you want to know where anything's from if you're unsure about anything don't be afraid to just pop a question in the comment section and i'll get back to you and also don't forget the decenio discount as well i'll leave that on the screen here because honestly if you're shopping for art that is my number one place to go so it's definitely worth utilizing the discount but i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time i will see you guys later